So today what I wanted to do is make something a little bit different and today we're gonna go absolutely crazy with customization in this game and make this car a stance car. Now, this car I've chosen specifically because I was actually looking for, you know, ideas for new cars and such in the future, cars that I could get first and such. And in the UK, interestingly expensive. This is only three and a half grand a year. If I want a polo, it's about a grand a year or a, a, a car. That's about a grand a year. Whereas I can get this with three and a half grand and it'll come down in price over, you know, the term. So this is actually in the list of considered cars for when I can eventually afford a car. So that's why I've kind of like like this car a little bit. And when you customize it, it looks nice. At the moment, I don't think it looks amazing. So let's stop faffing about and get into customizing it. So this is in no way going to be like, you know, exactly realistic, exactly how I'm going to have the car because let's face it, I'm never going to be able to rear wheel drive swap this thing on a... On a Unless I make some like magically crazy money, I don't know. But uh, we're going to put a single turbo in there because why would we not put a turbo in there? Uh, rear wheel drive and then we're going to go into the customization part straight away because I'm a ricer and I like to rice. So let us see very quickly what bumpers we have available to us. This is what I like about this car. It looks pretty nice stock and uh, it looks pretty damn nice once you actually get some more body parts and stuff on there, which I will show you how to make look even better in a moment. So, uh, what else do we have spoiler-wise? I really like the, yeah, a proper spoiler on this, but obviously because of the car's shape, it doesn't really... Yeah. So, we're going to stick with the stock spoiler. For the rear bumper, we're going to go with this one. And for the side skirts, we're going to go with... Oh, I think we'll go with you. Apply. I think. Yeah. Now, I'm not really a fan of, you know, these style uh, of rims, the you know, BBS rims kind of thing. Um, but I think on this car, it looks pretty damn nice. One thing I'd have to do, though, if I did these rims is kind of increase the size of the uh, wheels. I think those are about right. Not too big, not too small. Because I think the rims on this car are a little bit too on the small side. So once you increase them, it looks. I think it looks a little bit nicer, if you know what I mean here. Yeah. I think that's a bit too big. <laughs> Let's have a look at it a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, I think that's a bit better. So we'll go down once more on the back as well. There we go. That's a bit better. And that, uh, those are the rims we're going to go with. I think it's looking a little bit nicer already, don't you? You know, that's why I've kind of considered this guy. It's three and a half grand a year. And I can't afford that at the moment. But if I manage to, uh, you know, be able to afford that at some point. I mean, it, I'd definitely do it, I think, over the one grand for a polo. Because it would come down at least, I'd say, like, at least 40% within the first year. So, it kind of makes sense. But, anyway, uh, other than that, really, any other car that I'd want is going to cost me a lot of money. So, yeah. But, anyway, we'll talk about that in the future. Let's actually carry on with the actual car build itself. So, I'm now just applying all the kind of parts that allow me to customize it not putting a roll cage in there because I don't really like it I'm putting the you know second to last one as I do and weight reduction uh, I think we'll make it a bit lighter go on then and then other than that we're pretty much done except all of these parts here and we'll be good to go now for the paint uh, I basically made this before uh, but what I did is I went around the front grille, as you can see there, with a bit of black, a few black stickers. It took quite a while. Uh, at the bumper as well, you can see it's black along there. It's a bit off there, but shh. Uh, along the side skirts there, and along the back bumper. You basically get the idea. I've done like a black bit, pretty much uh, in some of the areas, to make it look pretty cool. And I really, really like it like this. And I think if I actually got one, I would actually consider making it like this now. That would be absolutely brilliant. But there you go, that's the design on the car. Now for another important part of the car, and that's the tune itself. Obviously, we can't make it a stance car unless we stance it in the configuration of the car, so slightly more to towards speed, obviously. And we are going to go for a massive negative camber because that's what they have on stance cars, and that's what makes them look like... Shite. Uh, like that. So let's very quickly bring out the uh, toe angle as well. Now, this isn't required as such, but I feel as if it brings, you know, it, it helps it more so, especially when drifting and such. You put it up slightly anyway, so. And he actually, he actually failed to detect our top speed now. And for the front caster or cast, I don't even bloody know, we're going to bring it to high, and that's going to help us a little bit. And then we're going to stiffen everything up and lower the car because that's exactly what a stance car is. It's going to be nice and low. 
all the way to the floor and then we will stiffen it even more so over here. As for the diff, we're going with the normal drift setup that I normally have. So, yes, this thing is also a stance car and a drift car. That's one thing I wanted to do because I wish to use this thing. So, let's go give it a whirl. Now, I came to this location because I believe a stance car should be in this kind of place. It should be in a city just cruising around. But as you can see, you can see that we're kind of stanced on the ground there. Of course, it's not going to be the levels of real life because that's really just not going to happen. You can see the toe angle there slightly punting, uh, to, you know, more towards the, to the left, to the right even. You know what I mean? Because I went this side. But you can see that it's slightly stanced and... I think that's as close as you're actually going to get on the full game, you know, it's it's not going to be realistic kind of stance, but I think it looks pretty damn cool, and I, I really like this. And I've seen a lot of people do this online, so I thought, you know what, I need to make a video showing you guys how to do that. So the stance build, look at that, that is crazy. I actually expected, because we did a massively, massive toe angle on this car, I expected it to be going absolutely everywhere but it's really not it's really really controllable now i didn't make it as powerful as i would normally with drift here. normally i basically throw as much power in as i possibly could but for this thing i i didn't really want to do that because well i i want to make it i wouldn't say realistic because well it's it's not going to be realistic is it i i, I doubt i'm going to stance my car or put these rims on it or anything but I want to make it more kind of a car that I would drive, if that makes sense. I don't know. Do you get that feeling in the game? If you do, let me know down in the comments. But I'm, I'm quite... I, I would quite be, we'd be very happy with this car, I think. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. Get it around a corner. Sliding there. Go to photo mode. What have we got? We got a stance build. Sliding there, if we go on the other side. Oh, ho, ho, the shine on those wheels make it look absolutely fantastic. I love that. I'm going to save that as a picture. Okay, so I thought for the last part of the video here, we should pull up to a car meet. Because that's exactly what you do with a stanced car in real life. Ain't that right? So uh, there she be, waiting there to be shown off. And there's lots of guys kind of like looking at cars that are much higher class than mine. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because we stanced ours and they didn't. So uh, if you did enjoy, please give it a like and let me know down in the comments if there's any other type of build you wish to see in the future. And if so, what what? What what? Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more and I will see you. <laughs> Peace.